Hello beautiful people, welcome <laughs> welcome back to my channel, thank you for clicking on another video. It has been a while, it's been months, it's been months and I'm going to try and film this really smoothly so I'm not going to harp on about it but oh my goodness I'm sorry that I kind of took a little hiatus there, it wasn't planned at all. In fact I was actually vlogging like a lot. I was taking so many videos um, of my move to London, my new job, everything that was going on, my workouts, um, but life was difficult. Things were really tough actually. There was a lot going on um, and it got to a point where a lot of the videos that I was filming, I was like, I actually can't upload these because I was like, yeah, I was really struggling in the job that I had started. Um, it wasn't the place for me um, and there were issues with finding somewhere to live. Now most things have settled and life has a nice little rhythm in fact I'm filming this from Malta right now you guys <laughs> I booked a flight um literally a few days ago I was just like I need to get away I've not been on holiday since before the pandemic I think the last time I went on holiday holiday was a few days in Dublin 2020 um for New Year's Eve so yeah this is my first trip away it was so last minute I think I've slept like three hours it is now 7 20 p.m malta time i think we're like an hour ahead of uk time and i haven't eaten anything all day i think i've just been running on stress and adrenaline and sunshine now <laughs> um anyway my mind might be a little bit all over the place as i film this but i'm gonna try and stay focused i've missed you guys thank you for those who left comments i saw them thank you for checking in on me i've been i was gonna say i've been fine um i have been fine i think just life happens right life happens stuff happens and sometimes we have to focus on other things and that was basically me um but I've still been posting on Instagram, not massively, but little bits. And the other day I asked you guys to send me questions. So if you're not following me on Instagram, please join me there. I asked you guys to send me questions and I'm going to answer them now. Um, I feel like I want to tell you more about how I've ended up in Malta so randomly and so last minute. Um, but I'll save that for another video and I'll just stick to the Q&A and the welcome back. Okay, so first question what have you been up to why did moving to london suck thank you delhi does the world for that question um what have i been up to i've been working and i've started acting school i'm currently in part-time acting school and i love it i can't remember what i actually told you guys i feel like in one of my vlogs i said i want to be an actor is that crazy i've always wanted to be an actor well i did it <laughs> i'm doing it um it's amazing i love it i really love it and i'm learning loads and it is really difficult actually it's such a challenge but it's a good one I do still work as a doctor so I still work as a doctor in London um, why did moving to London suck um, I think it was because it was a much bigger cultural shock than I'd expected so obviously I grew up in South Wales but I've always visited London my siblings have gone to uni here um, my sisters still live here my brothers used to live here um, but moving was just like I don't think it was just coming to London post pandemic where things were still a bit up in the air but it was also leaving my friends in Cardiff who I loved so much and I think that there was just so much change at once um, and not a lot of stability in terms of where I was staying um, in terms of having to find somewhere and trying to rent a place in London was just crazy still is crazy but was super crazy uh, last October um, so it was just really tough and um, add that to a work environment that I'm not going to go into on this channel um, but what, that was just not okay um, it was difficult but I took steps to change things I'm a big well I don't say I'm a big believer in self-help because I think sometimes you do need someone else to help you but um, I always I'm quite I, I, I really try to focus on what it is that I'm not happy about is it work is it relationships is it health what is it and I try and make a change as much as I can I try and take as much responsibility as I can and I pray I, I ask God for help and um, by God's grace things have improved I've made a lot of changes and London doesn't suck anymore I actually really love it I really love it um, I'm intentional with my friendships who I meet where I go um, and yeah I'm, I'm getting there things are good things are getting better I'm really glad to be able to say that and to mean it and I never want to come on here and like be fake with you guys so maybe that's that's why I hid away as well because I was like if I film a video I don't want to just be sat here crying <laughs> but also don't want to be sat there being like hey I'm great when things are not great so yeah things weren't great but getting better do you prefer London to Cardiff oh 
baby no mm, mm, mm. london is where i need to be right now definitely like if you said to me oh move back to cardiff i'd be like no not right now but i just love cardiff it's a beautiful city with beautiful people it's a seaside city it's home cardiff is home so london is for me right now but i can't say i prefer it to cardiff cardiff will always have the welsh twang and the upper edge um where did you get where did you get your love seat in this picture from so i'll insert a picture of the love seat <laughs> love seat i mean i thought it was an armchair but i guess it can be a love seat i'll insert a picture here um guys you guys I, I think i did film myself redecorating the flat but again stuff was so stressful and it's also like when you film during a stressful time re-editing it like you literally relive the stress so those videos i won't be editing them but i did film myself when i was moving in decorating buying furniture and all that jazz um so that's a shame that that will never be on the internet because <laughs> that was good content but this chair long story short i say all that to say this chair is from where's it from um habitat and it is probably sold out because i literally did so much research into the sofas that i got so i basically rent a three bed flat i've got a long lease and i furnished it myself and it was so expensive but so worth it and i did it on a budget so this chair was not crazy expensive i can't remember off the top of my head it was 300 and something pounds which for the quality is so good it's like a um cream le uh, leather no i don't like leather seats i feel i'm like why are you cold why are you cold and sticky you're either too cold on a leather seat or you're a normal temperature and you sweat and stick to it anyway it's not leather it's velvet um but i love it habitat and i'll put the link in in the description box if it's still available um do you add anything to your hair to make it fuller slash longer i want my hair like yours haha <laughs> oh thank you thank you so much you guys when i tell you i don't want to say i'm a hairdresser because i'm not a hairdresser but i basically me basically been doing my hair myself my whole life um so i have learned tips and tricks i do use extensions i use all kinds of extensions which makes it difficult to recommend because sometimes i don't know what picture or video you're referring to when you say you like my hair in general because it might be something completely different than the day before um but i basically just cut like curtain bands i use extensions sometimes i use clip-ins sometimes i use u parts um i use different textures but i just love a full volumey look and then what i like to do at the moment is i blow dry my curtain bands to give a bit of a bit of volume they're a little long at the moment i should probably trim them and um i think these are like three day old curls i don't do a lot with them um but i will do a hair tutorial maybe i'll do like a wash to going out hair tutorial for you guys um because i do have a technique and products that i love um but yeah just just hair extensions really clip-ins just you know fake it i don't like i i've literally done this my whole life since i was a child like it's it's not even a big thing for me because like as a nigerian woman that's what we do like we change our hair we wear braids we wear twists we wear um cornrows we wear all kinds of styles um and so yeah i just 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 buy hair <laughs> uh someone's asked me again you said life in london sucks why what happened i've covered that um what sort of doctor are you working as and how is it being a doctor in london so i work as a local doctor sho on a and &E. um in london it's good it's good it's different um but also exactly the same <laughs> it's really not that different actually yeah it's not that different um yeah i i basically uh work direct with different hospitals um and i move around quite a bit but i love the, the places that i work in at the moment it's great um i also do a lot of neuro rehab so a lot of work with um uh patients who have had different injuries or strokes um getting them back on their feet or back to you know the best that they can be um, as well as I also work on oncology now um, which I do quite a bit which has been so interesting and really great to learn about and something which I'm, <laughs> I feel I'm very passionate about um, oncology is basically the, uh, the treatment and study of cancer um, so yeah it can be quite you guys know me I'm an empath <laughs> it can be quite uh, emotionally heavy actually sometimes when you're working with patients and it's a tough fight it's a tough fight against cancer so i found that really and a really interesting balance of i love this i want to do this i want to help these people and it's tough emotionally sometimes for me but um i think that's just me <laughs> i think that's just me i've known that since day one as a doctor that as a natural empath um yeah sometimes i cry 
when I get home about the day and that's okay it's okay um okay next question what is this about acting what did I miss sorry I'm late to the game med school is trying to kill me babes med school tried to kill me too but I survived you will survive um yeah I don't know I don't really know how else to put it you guys I, I'm an actor, I wanna be an actor, I'm gonna be an actor, I'm learning to act and I love it. It is so, it is such an amazing craft, I love it. Um, how to find motivation, next question, how to find motivation to work out? Also, I've been working out and it's so hard to lose weight. Girl, yes it is, it is hard, it is hard. But it's also, um, there's different things you can do to make it easier. Um, and one of those things, oh, there's just so much to it. I need to do a video on this. <laughs> I can't say that about every question, so I'll just try and give you a short uh, answer. So, my first thing about finding motivation, I think I've done a video on this in the past, is just understand motivation is a myth. You like It'd be like saying, how, does, how do people find motivation to get up and go to work every day? Like, as though it's a feeling that you have to have before you get up and go to work. You actually just have to do it. Just remove motivation from being a pre prerequisite to you doing your workout. Just work out whether you feel motivated or not. In the same way as I can say, raise your right hand, and if you're able, you will raise your right hand. Go to the gym, just go to the gym, just do the workout. And I know that sounds really harsh and really mean, but it's just life. It's just like when you have to do something, when you just have to revise or you have to go to work. You're not always gonna feel like it, just do it anyway. Um, but yes, there are ways to um, uh, make it more enjoyable, so choosing workouts that you love, working out with friends, listening to good music, changing it up, working out in the sun, um, finding healthy recipes you genuinely enjoy. Don't go too hard on cutting the calorie deficit super low, that's not what you want to do. You want it to be slow and gradual. Stop focusing on the output and just focus on the input. So stop, you don't have to weigh yourself every day. Like I would actually recommend not weighing yourself every day because then it can be really discouraging because your weight is not gonna, you're not just gonna lose five stone in it if that's what your goal is in a day, that's not gonna happen. It might discourage you. So yeah, I recommend just taking it slow um, and have a look through my videos. So I've done videos on this, but I, will, I can also do more videos on this as well. Sorry, that's a, the quickest answer I can come up with off the top of my head. You know what I should have done? I should have like read these and planned the answers, but these are literally answers off the top of my head and I'm hoping that I won't need to edit this so we're just gonna keep going um not a question but keep being you and helping people oh thank you oh I'm just so emotional all the time I'm not gonna cry there's nothing wrong with crying but I just I think it's so unnecessary sometimes you know anyway thank you um <laughs> How do you not spill anything on a white sofa? I would have failed day one. Okay, when I first got my sofa in my flat, obviously I can't show you because I'm in Malta at the moment. By the way, did I mention I'm in Malta at the moment? It's so funny how I'm in Malta and I'm filming this video. You might be thinking, Sarah, you should be out there having fun. But I came here by myself to do what I want and I want to film this video. <laughs> and that's one of the things I love about traveling alone. And I love about me being me, just the freedom to actually just be like, I'm gonna do what I want. And what I've wanted to do today is walk slowly around the town, settle into my hotel room and film this video. And I'm gonna, in a moment after I film this, I'm actually just gonna go and eat. <laughs> I'm gonna go find a restaurant, eat some dinner, drink some wine, um, just somewhere on the sea and watch the sunset. So that would be really nice. Um, anyway, back to the sofa question. So easily distracted. So in my flat, I've got white sofas and initially I was super scared but actually um, if makeup gets on it, it's mainly makeup, I don't spill stuff on it because I don't really spill stuff on it by God's grace, don't want to jinx that, um, but when I first moved in I was super nervous and I'd always just put a blanket on it whenever I was like, because I love eating on the sofa, um, I just put a blanket on it, sit on it, but now I don't bother with that anymore, I'm just, I just don't spill stuff <laughs> and any little stains, um, I, you can just wipe off with a white cloth and water. That's all I do, and it's been fine. Ah, my God's great, I really don't want to jinx that, but yeah, I was nervous about that too, and it's actually been absolutely fine. Um, next question, missed you, glad you're back, hope all is well. Mm. This is from a lovely lady who did my workout plan, so yeah, thank you. Mm. Okay, not a question, you look gorgeous. Um, how are you doing? How has your new job been? I'm good now. New job sucked. I quit. I got a new job. Um, I think those are most of the questions. I think those are all of the questions. 
I'm sure I'd seen one about something else, but I'm gonna end the video there. That's my little life update Q&A. So I'm a London, London gal, but also I've realized I'm not a London gal. I'm very much a Valley's gal in London, little Welsh gal in London. Um, I'm acting, learning to act, and I'm loving it. Um, I've been working a lot and just needed to get away. So I booked a flight and this is super last minute. Like I still need to book accommodation for the rest of my trip here because I just kind of showed up. I literally booked this stay uh, seven hours ago and here I am. Make it happen. Whatever you want to do in life, just try. Never say no. Oh my gosh, one of the best quotes I've ever heard is just to never say no to yourself. Just, you know, just try and make it happen, which is what I'm doing right now. And I'm rambling about stuff. But I'm just excited to be back. Um, thank you for sticking with me. I'll hopefully be uploading more content, but we all know what it's like when I promise and then don't do it. It's just annoying, so I won't promise. But um, but I will promise, I promise. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Thank you so much. Let me know what kind of videos you want to see in the comments and I will make them for you. Um, I'm really excited. Oh, yeah, because I'm thinking like skincare tutorial because my skincare, oh my goodness, you guys, when I tell you, I went from my skin being a mess to my skin being the best it's ever been at the moment again by god's grace um oh, skincare hair care or hair routine um i think that's it actually please give me more than two video ideas okay i'm gonna go love you so much shall i just show you the view quickly from this place before i go um the room is i i'm not going to talk to you about this hotel room i was very disappointed that's all i'm gonna say so i'm not gonna give you a tour it's very small but um it has got a cute little little balcony and a lovely city view. I asked for a sea view, but I guess that's okay. Bye, see you in the next one. <laughs>